What's up everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers. Um, things are getting kind of jagged in here. Um, I actually thought about doing a simple like voice overlay on top of a slideshow, literally. Um, for the remainder of this build. I was trying to speed things up. It was We weren't making a ton of progress each episode and I'm kind of feeling this drag on a bit and I kind of wanted to wrap it up. Um, so I went ahead and did some stuff off camera uh, in order to expedite the process. You can see that we added some lighting here. It is causing quite a bit of a frame problem, but uh, at least we can see what's going on a bit better. So this is some of the area that we've already done. It's just now lit, um, which came out pretty well, I think. I like it. It's looking good. Um, it sounds really bad. Like, it just sounds like the whole house is on fire constantly, which I don't think that's really intended. There's a couple places I'm not finished with yet. This room in particular, uh, we have our dining room, but I have not finished this area. This won't take us very long, though. I have some ideas I want to do with it. Um, I also did this little thing. Uh, it's kind of looks a little stuck in the middle of nowhere. But I couldn't, I, I wanted this to be like a simple, I've referenced the potted plant syndrome, where like this is just where you have plants and stuff. Um, so we did it the same way as the other one, just with a bit of a different design of having the chest be the base and then frame it in. Uh, put some torches on it. Uh, over here, we've got some fire buckets and the torches. I've tried to place the torches as symmetrically as I can. Uh, we torched this area. The outdoor is now lit as well. Um, this looks... Oh no, that's right. I set these almost like tiki torches, but um, that was the closest I could get them to being... Oh no, I guess I could corner that. Okay. When I tried it the other day, that wouldn't work. Maybe I was just at the wrong angle. It's more than likely the solution there. Alright, so I got a fire bucket there. Um, I put some torches next to these containers. I put a fire bucket in between these. Some of these are dynamic because of placement. Um, I also started putting little stone uh, fire pits or bonfires, excuse me, on the um, tables. Mostly just for lighting. Like, you probably wouldn't actually have a bonfire on your table, but you know, you might. You might. Um, and then some lighting along the edges and stuff like that. Uh, I put some lights in here as well to kind of light this area up. This room I finally finished. I put like made it storage. Um, there are a couple of dynamic buckets in here. The only thing with this room that you would have to be careful about is all these objects are dynamic so you really don't want to bump into them too much or knock them over or things like that. Um, I've added some lights to this, put them kind of on the corners of the pool table. I also moved the pool table up a little bit. I tried to center it on this window. It wouldn't work very well uh, because I had two, uh, two blocks as a hole in the center point, so it wouldn't center up. I did center it on this table, though. So it's pretty centered in the room. I also lowered it a little bit because when I copied and pasted it, um, unless I wanted to dynamically just drop it on the floor, I went down a little lower, but I think it worked out okay. Some of you might be wondering what this is. I thought about doing a fireplace type section here, uh, but this is essentially the furnace from the kitchen, which we're gonna show in a second. Um, but I thought about doing a fireplace thing and it just it seemed out of place and I tried it a couple different ways and I didn't like it so I ended up scrapping that idea. Now that I've showed this, the upstairs is basically done for lack of really anything else to do with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal up the top. Um, so that we don't actually have to worry about it anymore. The one exception being the furnace here. For, well, obvious reasons. 
Um, and we will work on the roof in a moment. So let's check this out, make sure all of our lighting holds up. I think it holds up pretty well. I tried to kind of space out the lighting enough to where it made sense. Uh, we could probably use a fire pit on these. Now you can't center the bonfires on the tables by default, but if you dynamic, uh, dynamically place the object, then you can kind of ballpark it and get it somewhat centered. So that should work out okay. The only thing we might do is maybe add a couple wall torches there. I could add them there, but I don't really think it's necessary. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. Why not? Um, so I love these windows because you can kind of just place torches, the wall torches, like right up to the edge of the white part of the doorway and the windows. So that works out really well. Getting some major frame rate problems. And we could do more, like, you know, put s torches along the way. I just don't feel it's necessary. I'm already having enough problems as it is. Alright. So we basically have two rooms left. Now, this one kind of looks done, but I'm not done with it yet. And then we've got our main storage pantry area type thingy over here. We've got a bunch of barrels, and I was just placing random barrels and containers and stuff to make it look like it's used for storage. Um, now, tell you what, we're going to change the torch situation on this here do it like that so that when I do this it won't look weird. Um, I cannot figure out why my wall torch keeps changing direction. Alright, that's better. That's more well lit. Um, and then we could put put torches there. Um, we have fire buckets there, so we don't really need torches on the wall, I don't think. Um, but basically, this is the, my little timber furnace that I made. Um, and I could probably show it better from f going through the actual furnace. Um, it's pretty basic. All I did um, was go out to... Let's see, where's my lumber... I went out to basically this block, so I wasn't inside this space, and made a beam, and then made a beam, and made a beam, and connected them all up uh, with these straight logs. And then we had a completely unobstructed um, square that I filled in with bonfires. There's like nine of them or something in there. So it would be like uh, the equivalent of doing... Let me find an unoccupied square. It was like doing this. Kind of thing. And then I filled all this in because you can do... Maybe it's not a full nine. So they're not all even, I guess, in there. But it kind of looks something like this. On the inside. Something like that. Give or take. I don't remember exactly how I did it. But, um, and then I surrounded it with uh, timber. And then we did the little grid thing to where it looks like it's, you know, lets the heat through and you could, uh, you could cook on it. Then we have this little table over here, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's just uh, beams on the front and the back and then um, perpendicular beams that go along here. You can kind of see the design there. So these face us and these face the sideways type direction. And then we did some table legs and all that kind of stuff. So it's like you can cook and then cut up all your stuff and then serve it. I did this for storage or I actually had an interesting thing with a wheel and stuff built there but it didn't work right. So I'm almost thinking of putting it over here. Um, for no real reason other than just to make something look like it has a purpose. So we can spin that. Um, 
And we could do a couple of different things as far as like... Ooh, why did I just thought of this. What's the distance here? So it's... One, two, three, four up, one over. Okay. Oh, there's the, that's the other option. Let's try this. That's interesting. Okay. Can I do... I don't know if this will work or not. Can I connect these? No. Oh, yes, you can! So if I move this... Oh, it's like pulling them both towards each other. That's not what I want. Um... So that's not really what I wanted it to do, but this kind of makes it look like there's some type of mechanism. So I think I'm gonna leave it. Or, what we could do... is just something like this. I don't know if this would work either. It keeps like pulling them towards each other, which I mean, I guess that's kind of expected, but not entirely desired. Like that's not really what I wanted it to do. So let's just connect them, but we'll just say we don't really use it. So it kind of looks like it's doing something either like a bellows type system for the furnace or maybe drawing water. I don't know. Something. It just makes it look interesting. Um, and then we can say the kitchen is done. I think, anyway. So the last the last real step here is lighting up the dining room. Y'all. Now this is interesting because we did it as a double table. So I don't know. No, I don't think we can center it just because of how like the block is a 2x2, two two, I think. Which just does not work for centering. Um, that's not on the table. I just realized that. There we go. So that adds some light to the table. Uh, where? Okay, we can add lights here as well. And then we can also follow this back up to this point. Why can I never get these to flip? There we go. And we'll put a pair there. I think that'll work out pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, for this area, what I'd like to do is make it almost kind of a serving area. Where, like, you could bring the food in... Um... Is that... Yeah, that'll work. Um, like, you could bring the food in... And, um just set it there and then people could like get it from the uh, the table or whatever or um, to the table bring it almost like a buffet I guess or something to that effect um, and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the perimeters of these cubes here as my focal points 
So what I mean by this is you can kind of see I'm just setting up the table legs. And this is kind of going to be where they end up. And then we'll put a couple back here. Alright, so now what we can do... I really love these timber blocks. Like, I would be so ecstatic if something like this ended up in Space Engineers soon. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, make this not completely to the edge. And the reason for that is then I'm going to run a second set of beams across um, to basically cover up the edge. Is what I'm thinking. Um, and for this part, we're going to add end caps here and here. And then for the rest of this, we're going to do it like that. And that way we can kind of keep it covered up to where it doesn't look... Um... Oh, then that's interesting. Okay, and then we'll add a smaller one there to fix that. Like a two, I think. Perfect. All right, so that about fixes that. Um, let's add in our floor here. And which direction does this go? Okay. Come on. All right, so our floor's in place. Um, for this, let's see, if we did like that, okay, so you can put these towards the center. So this is considered one block, one, two, three, four. So we want it to where it looks like there's two blocks from the white, I think. Because then you could put one there, you could put, oh wait, why is that not? Maybe you can't center them. I feel like these have been centered right here. And nope, not centered. Okay, well I don't think it's really going to cause that big of a problem. And these two, oh, this works out perfect. Okay. So what we'll do is these two will just lean towards it. Um, these will push towards the inside and leave more space on the left. Like this. Um, these will do the same, and then this one will flip it to where it's got more room over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way it's all still symmetrical. Um, and this one will do like that, because that's how we did this one. Alright, so the buffet's lit, basically. Um... We could add, like, just a fire bucket or something back here, just to make it a bit more lit. 
Alright, I like that. So I'm gonna sign off on this and say this room's done. I think all of the rooms are actually done now. Pretty sure. So let's go ahead and work on the roof, cap this off. Um, I don't think I'll be doing any terrain editing on this map. I may, if uh, if I end up uploading it to the workshop, I might just go, ahead, go through and fix some of the stuff. Like any kind of these little pockets, like I might clean this up a little bit uh, before submitting it or something, but I don't think I'm going to do a lot with terrain on this one. So, now we need Le Roof. Alright, oh, and we need to continue our build here. Um, we're going to get rid of these three just so we can work with this for now. And for now, I'm going to do like... Whoa, crap. For now, I'm going to do like this. We're going to do like a two high, and then we'll just cut off what we don't need. I don't think this chimney is going to be fancy or anything either. I'm just going to do kind of a standard. Oops. Okay. And I'm going to let this kind of cut into that. Actually, no. I'm going to remove these two, and we'll work with that in a minute. Oh, and I can put the floor back now. Because the posts are through. Once the posts are through, you can kind of work with the um, timber. You just have to get the posts through that. I'll remove that as well. Here, let's go ahead and put the corners down. And then we can just do this. Um. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I forget how to deal with that corner. We'll figure it out in a second. Now, we have a couple options. We could flatten it out like we normally do, but there's also some new roofing options. But those are only for clay, I think. So I'm not sure how we want to deal with that. Or the brick roof. Maybe not clay. Ooh, this is interesting. Was not anticipating that. Huh. Can I put that there? Wasn't really planning on that happening. Um. Hmm. Well, that's unique. Alright, let's 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 fix the chimney here first. Or actually, I might do this off camera and derp around with this a minute, and then I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so I think we're done. Um, I set up a stair here with some railings so that you could walk in. I don't know why I'm stuck in walking mode. I forgot what button it is that does that, but I did something on accident. Um, so I ended up making this kind of simple, like I ended up uh, cornering this off and then just putting a wooden um, floor piece here. And this ended up peaking pretty well that it all connected. Now if we had used the, um, what I'm calling the clay or brick looking roof tile, um, it has new um, like this, 
it has new stuff in it, which I might actually, since we're using that... Yeah, I think I might actually do that. Hold on a second. Okay, way better. Um, so I ended up doing the clay ones, or the brick, and tried to kind of match it the same way, although... Oh, I missed some flooring here. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was flooring in here. I might have to replace that. Because I hate when those uh, roofing blocks like take edges off kind of thing. Well, great, now I'm probably going to have to do that again. I don't know, these are being... okay. Yeah, I hate it when the, the edge gets removed because you place something else under it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's sealed in. Um, but what this let us do is with these uh, blocks, the caps, that the clay actually can cycle through things. So it let us do something like this. So it actually is like two corners meeting up, which was interesting. Um, as for the thing here, the chimney. I don't know if I'll be able to do... Let's just do it like this. Uh, and then we'll flip. Try something. I think we'll follow the same pattern. Oops. That can go away. Alright, so that's done. Um, we could do... how about this? Let's just to make this shape a little interesting on the top here. Let's do a two block... Um, well, that won't actually really do anything. Let's, no, that's not really... I was trying to think of doing something to where... You had little peg uh, type things like you see in movies and stuff where they're um, they're kind of like rounded or built up around the edge, but we don't have a big enough chimney here to really do that effectively. So we'll just leave it. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to end things here for this build. Um, I do think... And this is something that I'm open to changing in the future. But I do think we are going to put the Medieval Engineer series on hiatus for now. Um, and maybe put something else in its place. I haven't decided what yet. I'm just watching, you know, overall viewership and comments and likes and things like that. And I've had other things that are doing better um, in it. So I think I'm going to try a couple new things maybe. Um, or... Um, Either that or use the time to add more episodes of other things, some other series, something like that. I'm not sure yet. Um, let me know in the comments if you have suggestions on series you would like to see more of that I'm not already doing more of, such as like Starbound or Crackpack that's only once a week or something like that. Or um, new series. I'm thinking of, of doing at least one test episode on a new game, um, probably in the next Medieval Engineers time slot, which should be Thursday. Um, so let me know what you guys think about all that and the build. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.